Alright everybody, welcome back to 1998 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. We're going to be playing a little bit of Zexies. Uh, never played this before, heard it's really, really good, and seeing as how it's actually made by Hudson Soft, I imagine so. However, I've also heard it's very hard. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Well, that was blunt. Okay, yep. Definitely blunt. I guess there's nothing I can do about those little star blocks. Right? Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Alright, so this game is... Uh, Welcome, Apollo. This is the Island of Ruins. Oh, that's wonderful. Our leader, Queen C uh, Cecil, is captured at the... Mechan I better start a timer. Okay. Mechanic castle on this island. Okay, yes, now I know when to quit. Alright. So we are Apollo. Oh, shoot. Ow. The art style of this game kind of reminds me of Blaster Master. Alright, let's go in here. This is the treasure box room. Drop the treasure. Ah, yes. Box by hitting the ghost with your head. Yeah. Alright. And go. There we go. 70 energy. Or whatever that is. Actually, do we have ammo? No. It's unlimited. And geez, that's a lot of things. Alright, there's so much stuff going on all at once that I can't even talk about this game. Because I do know a little bit about this game, even though I've never played it before. So let's go in here. Hi Apollo, I'll give you an attack item. Uh, 45B a ball? What? Huh? What did he do? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look at that! That's much nicer than my little pea shooter. You must get a four star from the devil in the... <laughs> what is going on? Hidden room to get to the mechanic castle. Okay, all right. Before I go anywhere, Zexies. As far as I know, uh, and that is only because this game was happened to be featured on uh, God Cinemassacre with Mike Matei, the guy who usually does camera work for James Rolf, the angry uh, angry Nintendo nerd, uh, video game nerd. And he did a brief overview of Zexies on his top 10 most obscure NES titles uh, that are all really good games. And this is on there, I think it was the number 6 game. And, uh, you know, it looks very good. There's a whole lot of stuff to do. A whole lot of stuff. So I think there's like three different gameplay mechanics. Welcome! You can power up your weapon for 20E. Yeah. Uh, I'll totally go with that. Thanks, take care. Yeah. Uh, basically, we are this guy, and we're on this island, and yeah, we gotta save the fairy princess, uh, who is in this mechanic castle, and, um, oh man, and gameplay mechanic, uh, number one is obviously the side-scrolling thing, mechanic number two is, uh, shoot, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, come on now, Now, yeah, it's not as nice as before, but what can you do? Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. And we gotta go back in these rooms to get all this stuff. Okay. Guy looks like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, double G's. A second gameplay mechanic is a little bit of RPG elements that we get that uh, I guess we can't really distinguish all that much from Mega Man or, or whatever. Uh, and then there's uh, a, a flying sort of thing, kind of like uh, a bullet hell um, top-down view or whatever of a Apollo as a ship or in a ship or something. And uh, yeah, I've already talked to you guys. 
Yeah, I guess when I have to replay something for the third bloody time, I actually have time to talk about it. Now that I know what the heck is going on. Alright, yes, 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 yes. Upgrade my weapon. Oh yeah, that's much better. It goes a lot faster. Whoa, the heck got me. By shooting the right stone carved with star five times, a hidden door will appear. Oh yes, I do remember that Mike mentioned there are some very cryptic game, cryptic events in this game. I don't remember them all though. His number one title had a lot more cryptic stuff in it. <gasps> oh no! Help me! All right, that's right. All my balls ricochet now, so I don't have to try as hard. I helped you. Thank you, Apollo. Please accept <laughs> money. Good luck. Can't I have a kiss or something? Seriously. Ow, jeez. It's hard to aim with these balls. Apollo just can't aim his balls straight. Alright. Hi, Apollo. I'll give you a magic item. Foot wing. Whoa. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, we tap A and we can float a little bit. Well, bro, that's sick. Ow, but still a little hard to control. Hi, Apollo. For 60 money, I'll fill your energy level. Please. Please. Oh my god, Mr. Frog, you are a lifesaver. I love you. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the, uh, whoa, top-down shooter sort of segment to, uh, to Zexies. Mm, somewhere in the Mechanic Castle, the Phantom of King Zoo Star is waiting for you. Really? Well, that's very nice of him to be waiting on me. Good luck! Take this 20 money! Alright, thank you. I like these cute little anime girls that are giving me money and stuff. Oh, bro. Alright, let's go. Let's go in there. The heck? The heck is going on? What? Somewhere in the mechanic castle, the Phantom of... Yes, 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 yes. You know, I need to go see that frog guy again and get my life back. Alright, what? 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 Where do I go? Alright, not even kidding. I need to go see the frog. No, no, get away. Get away! No beetles! Hi, Apollo! Yeah, take- <laughs> Shut up and take my money! Alright. No, sir. Thank you. Alright, it's a shame that the foot wink doesn't last- Last very long. That could have been very, very helpful. But what is with this? Uh... Maybe press other buttons? Uh... What? What? What have I done? Hello? Oh my god. What did I just do? I can't move at all! No, that's not it, no. No, how about this? No, no. What? Uh. No, come on. No, what? Save. I don't want to save. I want to freaking move. What in the world did I do? Ah. Uh. Is it broken? Hang on. 
No, I... I don't know... I don't know what I did. What? What? Apparently that's... It was just paused. <sighs> I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. And if the... <laughs> Game! How come all these doors is so simple? You just press up. But, I, oh, son of a gun. Alright, guys, not. I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, thanks to the power of save state and magic, we're back here. Uh, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. I, I've tried every single button. No. No. <sighs> what do I do, Zexies? I really want to enjoy this game, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And that is the worst punishment of all video games, is what am I supposed to do? Oh, come on. <laughs> Can't get through a freaking door. All right, let's let's just go back. Let's go back into older doors. Footwing. Yeah, uh, let's take the footwing again. You know what? Maybe we need the footwing. And I would like to. Oh, bollocks! What was the... There it is. <laughs> Save states. Gotta love them. Just, you know, where would we be without them? I... I it's just... This is the first screen... And I want to know what happens. I want to know what happens two screens into the game. Please. Just give, yes, come on, Winnie, just give me the foot wing. Let's go. All right, you. Okay. Now, we got the foot wing. Can we please go? What? Why I cannot go in? What? What do I do? Good luck. Take this money. Thank you? What do you expect me to do with money? I can't even get through the door! Somewhere in the mechanic castle, the Phantom of King Zoo Star is waiting for you. Okay? Can you imagine buying this? And then not knowing how to get past the first screen? Hi, Apollo. Footwing, yeah, okay, that's great. What is in this door? Nothing. All right. Just keep going. Keep going back. All right. Uh, by shooting the right stone carved with star five times. Stone carved with star. Okay, five times. A hidden door will appear. All right. Let's shoot all the star. Son of a gun. Let's shoot all these. All right. That ain't the right one. Okay, no, that ain't it either. So let's just keep on going back, because there's a bunch of them. Aha! Look at that! Welcome! You must beat me if you want a, fir a four star, okay? Ow! Hey, my boots! 
Ow! What the? Ow! Ow! What? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. I got it. <laughs> Tre treasure box room. Okay, yeah. <laughs> By hitting the ghost, yes, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's just go. Bam, there we are. 40 monies, got it. Continuing on. Ouch. Alright, yeah, and then you give me the ball. Thank you. I can't say that the game itself is bad. It's just... Oh, you have to get a four star before you can go in. Well, alright, maybe I'm just thick. Okay, so we're in. Gotta beat you. Not sure if this is working. Just kind of winging it. Uh, I don't think it's working. That sounds like it's working, though. How? Good! Here is the four star! Yes! Yes! We have a four star! Thank Christ. Alright. Need to find that stupid frog. Yeah, I can power up my weapon for 20 money. Go ahead. Alright, thank you, miss. Now we just gotta not die. Ow! You know, for someone named Apollo, we're kind of a pansy. Yeah, gee, thanks for telling me that after I already passed it and got the stupid star. Wait, what is L? Oh, L actually refills your life. Okay. What is E? Oh, money. Duh. Alright. Don't really need to see the frog now. Yeah, see? So let's go ahead and get... Oh, that's the frog. Well, look at that. No thanks. Please come again. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'm sure. Alright, then you're fairies. Okay. I'm not gonna give up until we get inside that freaking castle. And I want that. Alright. Yes! I did it! Secret door. Welcome to the item shop. What would you like to buy? Attack item, magic item. Let's take attack. Hand beam? 45 ball. I don't really want either. I'm out of here. Ow, screw you guys. Alright. Hi, Apollo. I can give you some information for 20 coins. Yeah. Jump high and go through the air well to the upper floors. I assume that's not in this room. All right. Ow, bollocks. Here? Aha! Look at that. Uh, give me the life power before I leave. There we go. What is this? Hi, Apollo. I can give you some information for 20 money. Might as well. You will need 20 money <laughs> to get into the mobile armor at the hangar. Alright. You guys know what that means. We're actually going to get to see the uh, thing. 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Cryptic as it might be, Zexies is pretty badass. All right, now here's something that's a that's a complaint about this game. Uh, so you notice that at the end of that hallway, I was given two doors. This I know only because Mike Mate had brought it up. And damn, this shit falls fast. Uh, once you hit that um that choice where it gives you either or the doors. You... Where am I going? I'm going up. Up, 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 up. There we go. You kind of have to choose the correct door. What it is, is, uh... If you choose the wrong door, you have to do that section over again. But if you choose the right door, then you can move on. And I, I got lucky by picking the right door there. But if I picked the wrong, the other one, we would have have to done this this first section again. Ow! What is the life? Is that the P? What is life? Life is P. Sounds like a metaphor. But God, that's a lot of stuff all flying around. Ah, I couldn't even reach the P! Okay, this has been going on for too long. <laughs> that's that, that's enough, Zexies. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> Zexies on Nuclear Gothic. Not gonna do any more of this. Uh, another spur of the moment thing. Bormax making me play old NES games. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much. Bye! Good night! Good night! Stay tuned for LSD, because it's a doozy, I swear. Apollo, I'll give you an attack item. Uh, 45B a ball? What? Huh? What did he do? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look at that! That's much nicer than my little pea shooter. You must get a four star from the devil in the... <laughs> what is going on? Hidden room to get to the mechanic castle. Okay, all right. Before I go anywhere, Zexies. As far as I know, uh, and that is only because this game was happened to be featured on uh, God Cinemassacre with Mike Matei, the guy who usually does camera work for James Rolf, the angry uh, angry Nintendo nerd, uh, video game nerd. And he did a brief overview of Zexies on his top 10 most obscure NES titles uh, that are all really good games. And this is on there, I think it was the number 6 game. And, uh, you know, it looks very good. There's a whole lot of stuff to do. whole lot of stuff. So I think there's like three different gameplay mechanics. Well, right, let's go in here. This is the treasure box room. Drop the treasure. Ah, yes. Box by hitting the ghost with your head. Yeah. All right. And go. There we go. 70 energy. Or whatever that is. Actually, do we have ammo? No. It's unlimited. And geez, that's a lot of things. Alright, there's so much stuff going on all at once that I can't even talk about this game. Because I do know a little bit about this game, even though I've never played it before. So let's go in here. Hi, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, so this game is, uh, welcome Apollo, this is the Island of Ruins. Oh, that's wonderful. Our leader, Queen Ce uh, Cecil, is captured at the... Mechan I better start a timer. Okay. Mechanic castle on this island. Okay, yes, now I know when to quit. Alright. So we are Apollo. Oh, shoot. Ow. The art style of this game kind of reminds me of Blaster Master. Alright, everybody. 
Welcome back to 1998 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. We're going to be playing a little bit of Zexies. Uh, never played this before. Heard it's really, really good. And seeing as how it's actually made by Hudson Soft, I imagine so. However, I have also heard it's very hard. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Well, that was blunt. Okay, yep. <laughs> Definitely blunt. I guess there's nothing I can do about those little star blocks. Right? 